Hello and welcome, this is Cryptos Chain with a new episode of Simple Cryptocurrency Reviews and today I'm going to talk to you about a project on its own blockchain and it's called Elastos with the ticker symbol ELA, E-L-A. As we can see on CoinMarketCap, the current price of this coin is trading at $3.13 at the moment, the total supply is 33.8 million and the circulating supply is 14.1 million. Again, not financial advice, but this coin can be purchased on a number of exchanges, out of which LBank, Wobi, Qcoin, etc. Now let's get in right to their website to see what they're all about. Okay, Elastos, right, so welcome to the modern internet, right? Elastos are trying to achieve the modern internet. They're trying to change the existing internet that we're used to and they want to replace it with a decentralized version. Now I'm not going to go through all the details on their website because I don't want to be reading exactly what we can see here. However, I do want to talk about something specific to keep this as simple to understand as possible. So let me go right down to the segments of Elastos. So what is Elastos trying to achieve? First, we've got the Elastos blockchain, right? Initially, Elastos was a token on the Ethereum blockchain. They were an ERC20 token and they migrated to their own blockchain. So now we've got the Elastos blockchain. Now, so we can see that they're underpinning the Elastos ecosystem is the blockchain a decentralized, trustworthy, and immutable record of all ledger information in establishing a trustful main chain. Elastos creates a secure and sturdy platform upon which dApps can build independent sidechains. So this is the trick right here, right? So we're gonna talk about that in a bit. This provides the trust layer for the other segments of Elastos to build on top of it, right? So we've got the Elastos main chain, okay? Where Elastos can transact, where you can trade. So for example, if you buy Elastos coins from, a, from an exchange and you want to send them to your wallet, you are using the Elastos main blockchain, just to be clear. And they've also got the functionality to create side chains, right? Side chains, which are going to cooperate with the Elastos main chain, but they are separate. And the reason being they are separate is because DApps, digital applications, can deploy their smart contracts on these side chains. Okay, so this makes it something separate, like a separate ecosystem. Well, it's the same ecosystem, but it's it's a separate entity to avoid um, clogging the main blockchain, the main um, the main source of transactions, and to to make sure that it functions well. Now, besides the Elastox blockchain, if we go to the next segment here we can see we've got the Elastos Carrier, which is a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network and it replaces the existing internet of IP addresses and paves the way for truly anonymous communication to protect user privacy in the modern internet. So what does this mean? This means that Elastos Carrier is kind of like an, an operating system, right? So you can install this on your mobile device or on your laptop or desktop, for example. And this is how you're going to interact with the decentralized internet within the Elastos ecosystem. So this is what you should keep in mind when it comes to the Elastos carrier. And the third segment is the Elastos, are the Elastos services. So beyond the Elastos blockchain exist a number of infrastructural platforms and development tools that enable developers to seamlessly build decentralized applications, businesses, and economies, right? Decentralization applications are inherently open source and therefore subject to public auditing, thereby creating systems of trustful transparency, right? So this is where the development can take place. And the next segment, which is the fourth one, this is the Elastos Runtime. Now, the Elastos, pro Elastos Runtime provides a safe runtime environment where dApps are run, right? This is, this is like a closed sandboxed virtual environment that provides process isolation, network isolation, and protection of data and digital assets. So the dApps on Elastos do not connect to the internet. As utilize Elastos Carrier, which is the operating system that we discussed um, earlier, to facilitate communication between users and devices, right? So this is where we've got all the protection, the Elastos runtime, right? This is where everything is happening. And this means that you cannot simply have like a Trojan or I don't know, some malware that could access the Elastos runtime because in order to even go, in order to be to have um, 
for, for your digital asset to be on Elastos, you need to create a unique ID. So if it's a malware, they can't have a, a verified unique ID, right? Because it's a malware. They're trying to hack somebody's computer. Well, Elastos are not going to allow that, okay? There is that security, that sandbox virtual environment, which provides that protection. The extra layer of protection is better than an antivirus, right? And yeah, this is pretty much it. This is to keep it simple, right? I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible for non-technical people to understand. Now, to move on to the roadmap. So, let's see, let's see. We've got December 2018, Elastos Neo Smart Contract compatible sidechain release. Okay, so they are working with Neo to create this sidechain. And in January 2019, we've got the Elastos Runtime Browser for iOS and Alpha release and the Elastos Toolchain Alpha release. January 2019, we've got the Elastos Carrier v5.2 release to support group message and file transfer. Carrier support for Windows platform. And in February 2019, the Elastos Storage Proof of Concept release and the Elastos Delegated Proof of Stake Super Nodes election starts. Right, so yes, we're going to see a lot of development, um, a lot of progress. Let's say there is a lot of development going on at the moment, but a lot of progress is going to be done in 2019. Now, just to um, give you some more information, this project has been ongoing for 18 years now, okay? They started in 2000, so it's a very old project, okay? There has been a lot of development, a lot of funding, so yes. Um, now, let's go to their white paper. So once again... You can actually see a, a, a brief introduction of Elastos, and I think it's very important for me to read this, just so you can get the, the clear picture about what Elastos is trying to do. Now, I have mentioned the information about um, the four segments, but I do want to mention what they're actually all about, because then everything will come um, together like the piece of a puzzle and you'll understand how it'll work. So Elastos aims to create a new kind of internet powered by the blockchain technology, right? As I mentioned before, on this new internet, people will be able to own digital assets and generate wealth from them. Today, there is a seemingly infinite supply of digital books, movies, music, and games, but people do not necessarily own their digital property, right? So you can purchase a digital book, for example, but you can't sell it to anyone else. So do you really own it? Well, Elastos wants to make digital assets scarce, identifiable, and tradable. Property rights pave their way for wealth, creation, and Elastos intends to build a new World Wide Web that respects those rights. Now, the goal is to create an internet that allows users to access articles, movies, and games directly without going through a media player or another platform intermediary. Elastos will use blockchain to issue IDs for digital content, making it possible to know who owns which digital assets. On the Elastos internet, filmmakers will know how many times their movies were viewed, and the combination of Elastos and blockchain technology lays the foundation for a trustworthy and secure internet of wealth. So yes, this is the IDs that I was talking about earlier. Okay, so when you go on the Elastos blockchain, you need to, when, the, when you use their ecosystem pretty much, right, when you install their app, the operating system, that's when you create this digital ID. Okay, so this is how you are operating, this is how you are um, interacting with the blockchain. Okay, you need to have that ID. Once you have that ID, then we know which asset belongs to who. Okay, and in this case, they're saying it quite clearly here that filmmakers will know how many times their movies were viewed because obviously your unique ID is counted as a view. If you view the movie, you're viewing it through your unique ID and this is how it's being tracked on the blockchain, of course. Now, to continue on, Elastos will be a platform for decentralized applications dApps that run on peer-to-peer -peer network with no centralized control. People can access these dApps via their mobile phones without changing their operating system, right? So the old internet is a web of information. If you click a URL, you get a data, right? Elastos is creating a web of apps. When you click a URL, you get the code. Now the Elastos web will be a spe special economic zone where Elastos tokens function as the base currency. Of course, so this is the important part here because we are seeing a lot of projects Okay, well, similar, similar to Elastos and not necessarily even the same, where their token doesn't really have a use case, whereas with Elastos, we see that the token is going to be used in the ecosystem, right? So, Elastos is an open source software whose development process has been sponsored by industry giants, such as Tsinghua Science Park. 
the Industrial Alliance and the Foxconn Group for more than 200 million RMB. Elastos has published more than 10 million lines of source code and including 4 million lines of original source code. Let's go down and I want to touch on another important part of the white paper because I'm not going to read through the whole, whole white paper as I don't normally do that in my reviews. I'm trying to keep them as simple to understand as possible. So once again, we've got the four pillars, which I've mentioned earlier. You've got the Elastos blockchain, which is the main chain. Okay, this is where you can see that you could have a trustworthy ID. The Elastos runtime, okay, which is the operating system that prevents the applications or services from directly accessing the internet. Okay, so this is done on the Elastos ecosystem. And the Elastos carrier, which is a completely decentralized peer-to-peer -peer platform. Okay, this the carrier takes over all the network traffic and virtual machines and convey, conveys information on the application's behalf, okay? And you've got the software development kit, the applications which the Elastos SDK need to access their IDs and Elastos carrier services on the smart web. Okay, then you've got a lot of different features. So yeah, you can pretty much sell uh, digital assets on the Elastos blockchain, which is quite interesting, right? Because if you buy a book, for example, and you want to sell it, right? You can do that. Well, at the moment you can't do it, right? You can buy somebody's book, but you don't really own this book, right? You did buy the, um, let's say, um, you buy it from Amazon, for example. Uh, you buy um, a PDF format, an ebook, and um, yeah, people don't normally sell that, right? Or even if you want to sell it, I don't know if you have the access, the right to do that because you don't really, I mean, you, you bought the book, but you don't really own it, right? So yeah, I don't know how that will work. However, with Elastos, you can actually sell it, right? You can sell it because it's on the blockchain. There will be some sort of marketplace where people will be able to see who wants to sell the book, right? And for how much. So yes. Now, one thing that I don't really like about Elastos, and it's not something very negative, but it is a slight negativity in terms of the supply and stuff, because we have seen that we've got 33.8 million at the beginning of this video. However, they're saying that to compensate for the natural loss of tokens, such as users losing their wallets, as well as to keep up with slight inflation, the amount of LIN circulation will increase annually at a fixed rate of 4%. So we're talking more or less 1.3 million tokens are going to be in circulation that sorry that's going to be the total supply of, of ELA tokens in circulation um, pretty much uh, you know every year so yes we are going to see an increased amount however considering what these guys are trying to achieve considering how big it could actually get 33.1 million at the moment is not really so much you know I mean you've got like quite quite a low number of tokens compared to some of the projects I've been reviewing and we have seen them uh, with 1 billion tokens, which is quite a lot. And now I'm not saying um, Elastos are not going to reach that amount at some point in the future. However, considering the amount of people that could be using the Elastos ecosystem, you know, that's going to be almost nothing. And we could see a huge increase in the demand for ELA tokens. Of course, you've got ELA will be produced every two minutes during the Bitcoin merge mining and these newly minted coins will be allocated to the Elastos Foundation and miners. So yeah, that's the other thing I wanted to say is that you will be able to mine uh, Elastos, Elastos coins at some point, right? Which is quite good because you've got a lot of miners out there mining Bitcoin, mining Ethereum, mining other coins. But yes, they will be able to mine Elastos as well once that's released. So yes, yes, they are actually trying to achieve many things, which is uh, which is good. At the same time, it will be difficult because they need to get a lot of approval. And we have seen a lot of regulation in this space at the moment. So with the SEC and also, let's see how they progress from that point of view. Now, they are based in China. So I don't know, they've got an office in Singapore as well. So let's see how, how things go. And also to move on to talk about Cyber Republic Alpha, right? So Cyber Republic and Elastos and what they're all about. So Cyber Republic is a diverse democratic group of leaders, developers, organizers, and desire, designers formed to promote Elastos in the community. So membership is open to everyone. And although everyone is welcome to join the site, it's primarily, primarily targeted towards contributors and developers. And here you've got a beginner's guide of what Elastos is all about. Then you've got the official website for Elastos. You've got the news site. You've got the roadmap. You've got the Elastos carrier article, the Elastos wallet. So yeah, you can use the wallet as well. 
uh, you've got the wallet FAQ, you've got using the wallet and more information as well as their GitHub page, which we're going to look at in a moment, and their Telegram community page. And yeah, just about the wallet, right? So at the moment, it's a web wallet. Uh, unfortunately, you're not able to use a ledger, like a hardware wallet. But uh, yes, I think they're working on that, and I think we'll be able to have that pretty soon. However, just keep in mind that you do have to take that extra uh, security risk by using the web wallet, or you can keep them on exchanges if you do buy any Elastos uh, coins, but it's not really recommended due to that security aspect of it. Exchanges can be hacked, you can end up losing your coins. And then again with the web wallet, there's also that risk as well. So uh, yes, yes, it's not 100% secure right now, uh, but it is what it is. And when, when they're going to launch Ledger support, um, then everything is going to be much, much safer and people will feel more confident to own Elastos coins. Now, that doesn't stop a lot of people. Of course, we have seen many investors. We have seen this community is quite big, actually. A lot of people are bullish on this project and what they're trying to achieve. And they do believe it's undervalued at the moment, considering that the price, the ICO was around $18. Uh, they were only accepting the Bitcoin and um, NEO, if you wanted to take part in their token sale when they started. So yes, uh, let's talk about the GitHub page. So this is their Elastos Foundation GitHub page. And one of the interesting things I've noticed from a development point of view, now we can see that they've updated it. So we've got seven hours ago, there was some update to the iOS uh, side. Uh, they've got all these different projects here, the crypto token as well. And one of the interesting things I've noticed is they're using this new language from Google called Golang. Um, this is being used in the development of Elastos. So not many projects actually use Golang. We have seen um, Neo is, is, is looking at supporting the Golang in the near future. However, at the moment, you can't develop smart contracts on Neo with the Golang, which is a really good programming language, in my opinion. I have done some research on this programming language. I'm planning to actually learn it myself. I'm a developer too. Um, so yes, this is actually quite important that they're using the latest, one of the newest programming languages, let's say. We've got some Java as well, development two days ago. We've got Android. So yes, we can see that the project is actively being developed on, and this is very, very important. Every time I look at GitHub and I see active development, this, this gives me that extra um, confidence in a project, right? Because it means it's not uh, the type of project which is just being hyped, but we're not seeing any any progress, right? With this, we are seeing a lot of progress. So yes, I do I do think that is interesting, especially with Cyber Republic as well. They're trying to promote the project. They're doing many things, many activities. They've got an ambassador program as well. So yes, do keep an eye on that. I'm gonna post the links uh, in the description below this video. And finally, I just wanna talk about the Elastos News. So as mentioned earlier in the Cyber Republic page, there is a news page for Elastos where you, where you can see the weekly updates. And in this case, the latest updates are from two days ago, 30th of November. And one of the interesting things that I want to talk about is about the Elastos testnet. So we can see here, the Elastos testnet is officially open for public use. And if you're a developer, you can now view our repositories on GitHub. More information can be found here. And you've got the ELA news, which mentioned the testnet launch. And you can also use the faucet to get some testnet coin requests, right? So yes, this is quite good. You've got the testnet web browser address, you've got the testnet wallet address and so on. So yes, this is pretty interesting. Uh, yes, we are We are gonna see, you know, more, more progress as, as time progresses. So yes, let's see what happens. Guys, I'd like to thank you very, very much for watching. If you're new to my channel, Please don't forget to subscribe, please like the video, and also leave a comment below if you have any sort of questions. I'll see you in my next review. Take care of yourselves and each other. Goodbye.